welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to start writing first test case using protector. These are the steps that we need to follow. And that is my URL. It's a sample application which is developed using AngularJS. Previously, we have set up Node.js, Jasmine, Protector. And we are going to use all these options here. So first of all, I'm just moving to WebStorm. That's my editor which I'm going to use for writing our test case code. So first of all, I'm going to the file and new project. I'm creating a new project over here. And I'm just giving Angular JS Automation. I'm giving the name Angular JS Automation. Click on create. A new project will be created with this name. So first step is done. Here we have created a new project in WebStorm. Now, first of all, we need to create test case and test case would be in the Jasmine format. I'm coming here in the project, new file, and that is called spec file. We have seen in Jasmine, we don't call it test case, we call it spec. So I'm going to create first spec. I'm giving the name like first spec.js. And again, here we are on the JavaScript file for the test case or I'll say spec. So here on the spec file, I'm writing a comment like creating first spec in protractor. So first of all, as we know, we need to use describe block, then uh, which will behave as a test read, then it block, which is going to behave as a test case. So that we have covered when we are learning Jasmine. So describe and here we need to pass two arguments. First argument would be string. So I'm saying login functionality. You can write any. And here as a second argument, we need to pass a function. So function and that the body of the function is started. So that is the syntax that we have seen previously as well. And that's my semicolon. So that's a describe block. Inside the describe block, we need to go for the it block because test case is going to be written in the it block. So I'm writing like it. And again, two argument. First is login functionality with valid credentials. And as a second argument, we need to pass again function. So function and that's the body of the function started so describe and it and that we have seen previously while we are learning jasmine now here inside the it we can write our test case and this test case could be anything as of now i'm just writing like console dot log this is my test case later on i'll update i'll write actual test case over here but as of now i'm just printing something on the console so that is my first test case inside this describe block so first step is to create project second step is to create spec file so here we have covered two sp steps now i'm going to create a config file so config file you can understand whatever the configurations we need to define like which browser I, I'm going to use, what will be the URL of my uh, hub, which we are going to start with the web driver manager we have seen previously, and other details like what framework I'm using here, like I'm using Jasmine. Whatever the details we need to define, we will define in this config file. So I'll show you how we can define it. I'm just moving to the project again, and I'm going to create a config file here. So again, a file with the name config.js. Now, so here, first of all, we need to create configurations and this configuration need to be created like exports dot config. Here is equal to and that will be an object of the JavaScript. So we have seen how we can create object in the JavaScript we need to define all the values in the key and value pair. 
so first option is that which framework we are using so framework colon and I'm defining like Jasmine that's my framework which I'm using in our project in our specs next you what is the URL of your web driver manager so previously we have seen case whenever you want to execute your test case we need to start web driver manager and if you remember web driver manager URL would be TTP localhost 4444 WD hub that I've shown you previously so as of now my web driver manager is not started this website is not running but I'm setting like my second configuration like selenium address and these are the predefined configurations configuration name so we need to use this so I'm using like selenium address and the value would be this as of now it's not starting so I'll start it next specs is equal to and that will be an array so in square bracket we can define like my value my name of the spec is first spec dot js so I'm saying first and that's not equal to actually we need to use colon first spec dot js so this is the basic configuration we need to do for executing our test case in protector so that is done like here we have defined a test case also we have defined a configuration file with a minimum set of configurations first three steps are done we have created project created spec file created configuration file and now I'm going to execute it using protector Bef but before that we know we need to start web driver manager previously we have seen how we can start it so now I'm going to start web driver manager so I'm writing like C first of all I'm going to the command prompt and here we need to write web driver manager start it's going to start on the uh, on the double four double four port that we have seen previously so selenium server is up and running on the port double four double four if I check it so now I'm just refreshing and you notice it is started so now we are ready to execute our test case now I'll show you how we can execute our test case so first of all I'll take the location where this project is saved so I just right click on the project and here show in Explorer so it will open the project location I'll go to the project that's my complete location copy this location means from the command prompt I need to move to this location so I'm just copying address and from the command prompt I need to move to this location so I'm starting a new command prompt CD move to this location for execution I need to write protractor and config file name so my config file name is config.js enter so now it's going to execute the config file and here it is connecting with the server and if you notice by default browser would be Chrome which is started means my test case is executed successfully and as of now we did not write anything uh, we did not perform anything in the test case we are just writing this is my test case so which is working over here so first test case we have written here in webstorm and in spec file we just printed something on the console that is one and from config file we are executing that and in config file we have given three basic settings or I'll say configuration like which framework we are using we are using Jasmine Selenium address is mandatory because by this address protector is able to connect with the web driver manager which we have started from the command prompt and now spec which is spec you want to execute I want to execute first spec.js so here we have seen how we can ri start writing our test case in the next session I'll show you how we can start browser how we can enter URL how we can perform some actions on that but as of now we have just created a structure now we can write more test cases on this structure 
So that's all we have for this first session. In the next session, I'll enter URL and we'll perform some actions. So that's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video.